De Surinaamse minister van Buitenlandse Zaken, Ildis Polak Bigli, en haar Colombiaanse collega, Carlos Holmes, hebben een Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, getekend over de samenwerking tussen de twee diplomateninstituten. Na een bilaterale band van langer dan 40 jaren is het gelukt om in 2017 een Suriname Diplomatic Institute te lanceren. De ondertekening vond plaats op 16 mei 2019 op het ministerie van Buitenlandse Zaken in Suriname. Minister Holmes bracht ook een bezoek aan vicepresident Michael Ashwin Adin. We are a smaller country, smaller market. We have also a, also a big institutional capacity issues. So in that sense, if bilaterally we can also have some, uh, you have the experience in the natural resources sector, and you, I know you have been struggling with the diversification. So we can share the lessons on that, I think, and it's very important for us the institutional capacity issue and the strategy towards diversification and the options in which kind of more green and other kinds of technology are there, in which there are markets. Um, so I think that's why, that was one of the reasons why we went into this uh, traditional medicine. And, uh, because the knowledge was there, mm -hmm. but the potency was there, and you have the people that are having that knowledge, having this knowledge in practice. So um, diversification, we would look, look forward to some institutional capacity. Okay. In the same line of thinking, we are always thinking about the, the regional integration like we said, um, and bilingual education, we have always been, we have for the past few years been thinking about Spanish as a second language, English as a second language, Spanish, um, in the new coming period in 2021, will be, I think, uh, will be the year when we evaluate the basic education and the language that we use. So there are some discussions now going on. When will we finally pick up English and Spanish? Because for the integration, medical education system and the institutional capacity that I just mentioned, will be a very big uh, catapult us to have better um, involvement of capacity that is in the region for our development, even if it's diversification, natural resources, and so on. Um, of course, when we look at politics, we say we have a standard policy. Our constitution says uh, non-intervention, non-interference, dialogue. It is very hard, uh, very strongly emphasized in our constitution. Mm -hmm. um, so, in political stance, we see your, uh, your, your, um, we share the um, concerns. We have a little bit of migration on our side, not that are big numbers, but we see the problem and the regional problem very. And we really look very keenly at the situation, thinking about how we can help. The president has been traditionally known for his um, dialogue, and it has been asked as a media uh, and mediator different times on different platforms, and Nasur also at that time. So um, he, he looks at the situation also with his experience. We have been 40 years in politics now. He knows uh, he's dependent on. Uh, uh, quite frequently when it comes to these issues.